northern Greece. Beyond these barren mountains lies the last bastion of Stalinism in Europe. For 40 years, Albania has cut itself off from the world to the north, Yugoslavia, to the south, Greece. Here, Greek nationalists have never accepted Albania's right to rule land that used to be part of Greece. Every scrap of news that reaches them from beyond these Albanian mountains feeds their concern for the ethnic Greeks trapped there. This letter from inside Albania was handed to a foreign visitor who smuggled it out. In gruesome detail, it spells out the fate of four Greek brothers who tried to escape. They were caught by some of the many guards who watched the border day and night. To find out more about what happened to the Prasos brothers, I visited Metropolitan Sevastianos, Bishop of Konitsa. His diocese reaches across the border. For years, he's been kept out by the Albanian state. Πέρασαν τα τρία μεγαλύτερα, τα σειρματοπλέγματα, το μικρό δεν μπόρεσε να περάσει και το έπιασαν οι Αλβανοί. Και είπαν στα τρία μεγαλύτερα αδέρφια, ή επιστρέφετε πίσω ή το σκοτώνουμε αμέσως επί τόπου. Και επέστρεψαν. Ήπησαν ανήλαιος, τα έδισαν πίσω από τρακτέρ κατά τον ίδιο τρόπο με σκηνή, τα περιέφεραν στα χωριά, υπεχρέωναν τους κατοίκους να τα δέρνουν, έβγαινε αίμα από το στόμα και από τα αυτιά και από τις μύτες και έδινα την εντύπωση ότι δεν είναι άνθρωποι αλλά ότι είναι φαντάσματα. Οδύσσεως is said to have died from the beating. His three brothers are rumored to be in jail. Along the border, some local nationalists seize on such reports to support their campaign to reunite southern Albania with Greece. Others share the sense of outrage at the plight of Greek Albanians, but they insist that the issue goes far wider. Yanni Averov, the local MP, flew from Athens to speak to us. There is no doubt we have 400,000 Greeks living under very bad conditions, lack of freedom, no human rights, no permission of religion, no language accepted. This is the main problem the first issue. But the most important issue is the second issue, which is the Albanian people, people that do not have any rights, that do not have any freedom. And I think we cannot discuss the minority problem in a country where the people of the country are living under a dictatorship which is, resembles a lot of the dictatorship of uh, Ceausescu. This is the last outpost of Greece. Behind me is Albania. Down there is what the civilized world considers a gateway to hell. Most people try to get out. Right now I will go down and try to get in. Photography is forbidden once you enter no man's land. To take these pictures we had to film secretly. Close up, the gateway looks innocent enough. This southern border is still quiet. Not like the border with Kosovo in the north. With special permission from the Greek commander, we were allowed right up to the Albanian frontier. The guards here are friendly enough, but the message is quite clear. This is as far as you go. Albania's rulers are still determined to keep unwelcome influences at bay. Behind the wire, conditions are as primitive as ever. It's a society frozen in the 1940s. Stalin still dominates along with the architect of socialist Albania, Enver Hoxha. In this police state, you can be jailed for 10 years for making the sign of the cross. But not everyone puts up with it. Some try to slip through the electric fences. Others try to swim to freedom. The holiday island of Corfu is just one mile away, if you can dodge the patrol boats. The Albanians themselves are also and the and the και όταν συλλάβουν εις με τη θάλασσα με τα γνωστά Chris Crab, τα σκοτώνουν επί τόπου τα παιδάκια, είτε στα σύνορα εδώ είτε στη θάλασσα, τα σκοτώνουν, τα παραλαμβάνουν τα πτώματά τους, τα δένουν πίσω από τρακτέρ με σχοινιά από το λαιμό και τα περιφέρουν στα ελληνικά χωριά με μια πινακίδα, 
έτσι τιμωρούνται οι προδότε για να φοβηθούν και να τρομοκρατηθούν και οι άλλοι Έλληνε και οι Αλβανοί να μην επιχειρήσουν να φύγουν. But some do make it. Photos and Achilles escaped in August. Τα σύνορα τα πέρασαν με μεγάλη δυσκολία. Είπαμε μεγάλη δυσκολία στο σύνορο. Άσαμε το χωριό στι 9 το βράδυ. Περπάτησαμε όλη τη νύχτα. Πήγαμε στο σηματόπλημα. Δεν περάσαμε στο σηματόπλημα. Πέρασαμε σε μια μεγάλη χαράδα. Κάναμε δύο μισή ώρε στη χαράδα. Και στι 5.30 το πρωί περάσαμε, φτάσαμε στο, στο χώμα τη Ελλάδα. Αλλά με μεγάλη περιπέτεια, μεγάλο φόβο. Δεν ήξερα καθόλου πού είναι η φαντάρη, ρεμό. Μεγάλε δυσκολίε. Ήταν πάρα πολύ μεγάλε δυσκολίε. Τα σύνορα τα περάσαμε με δυσκολία μεγάλη. Γιατί υπήρχε κίνδυνο, πολλοί έχουν σκοτωθεί και έχουν μείνει εκεί. Μερικού που έχουν πιάσει έχουν δικαστεί από 25 χρόνια, άλλοι έχουν βγει τρελοί από τι φυλακέ. Αλλά εγώ αποφάσισα, είπα η ζωή θάνατο. Ανδρέα έσκαιε δύο μήνε πριν. Μου το έκανε στην Γρήκα Αρμή, η Βατσάουα. Από εκεί μου έδωσε το πιο δυνατό μέρο. Είχε τόσο δυνατό να σκαιρθεί που έφυγε τον πατέρα του, τον πατέρα του, τον πατέρα του, τον And his four-year-old daughter, the dark in that other world behind the wire. Do you think that your wife will understand what you've done? We are going to talk about it. 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 But Andreas has been unable to make any contact with his wife since he escaped. His telephone calls are cut off. No letters get through to him. The truth is, he doesn't know what has happened to his family. Near the time when he left, I was told that there was a law. Anyone who left the city, the family was given a visa. This was in the village. Next to me, he had just come to pass two children. The family was given a visa for five years. They were given a visa for five years, but no one was given a visa for twenty or twenty years. They didn't come back again. They didn't come back again to the village. But despite the repression and the fear of the Sigurimi secret police, there are signs of unrest, mostly among students. The May, the last May, the students are in the streets. They have taken the bus every morning, as I have told you, the students who were there. They have taken 60 people every morning. In the village, how many people were there and how many people were there in the school, in the school, in the school, in the school, in the school. Γιατί έκαναν διαμαρτυρία για ελευθερία και τους δίκασαν. For the time being, Tirana seems calm. It's the ethnic Albanians in Kosovo, in Yugoslavia, who are the center of attention. Some Greeks believe that their campaign for autonomy could destabilize Albania and trigger far greater changes. I believe that those events are going to play the main role in all the situation of Albania. In what sense? Uh, because all the minority problems which we are facing now in the Balkans uh, is like a chain. One will bring the other ones. The Albanians have to face reality, have to face new Europe, have to open the borders as the Yugoslavs have to open new borders. It's not a geographical conquer, let's say. We are not looking forward to get back these mountains. We are full of mountains, as you see. But we are worried about our Greek brothers. Τώρα εγώ νομίζω ότι θα γίνει γρήγορα αυτό το πράγμα, γιατί ο κόσμος τα βλέπει αυτά τα καλά τα πράγματα που έχει ο κόσμος έξω κράτη, την ελευθερία και όλα και τη ζωή τους με τους τουρίστες που έρχονται στην Ελλάδα ή με τους τουρίστες που πηγαίνουν στην Αλβανία από την Ελλάδα. Και έτσι ο κόσμος δεν είναι ένα πράγμα που να βαστεχτεί αυτό ήταν ψέμα της Αλβανίας που μας έλεγε ότι ο κόσμος θα σε ένα κράτη τυραχνιούνται και δεν έχουν και τίποτα, δεν έχουν ψωμί να φάνε και τώρα ο κόσμος τα βλέπει με τα μάτια του, τα ακούει με τα αυτιά του από τουρίστες και έτσι είναι στα κουτουρούγια, λέω γρήγορα. But Albania has resisted change up to now, regardless of what outsiders may think or hope. Once there was a bridge here linking Greece, the birthplace of democracy, and Albania, Europe's last one-party state. This is a sad and troubled place. And it always will be, unless this bridge can be rebuilt. <laughs>